Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to quickly talk about uh, setup file. Now when you're working with org mode, you might want to also export your uh, org file to maybe HTML, maybe uh, you want to generate a nice uh, LaTeX based PDF file or LaTeX document or maybe you want to create presentations using the reveal.js. Now recently, as I mentioned uh, in my previous videos, I have been playing with uh, LaTeX and I, I've been also playing with uh, reveal.js and I'm quite happy with uh, the outcome. I'm now working on uh, making a series of videos. This, this particular video is also part of that series, but uh, I wanted to talk about this setup file be before I dive into LaTeX or Reveal or uh, whatever type of export you might be interested in doing. Now, there is a concept of setup file. Now, this setup file is actually basically all about uh, uh, importing things from uh, another file to your uh, org file. Now, whenever you're working with, let us say, uh, a document, which you want to maybe export, maybe you want to always uh, create presentations, you have to insert a lot of uh, uh, lines in your uh, file on top. For example, if I open, uh, let us say, the file for my reveal, uh, which is, of course, my uh, my my configurations for uh, generating presentations using reveal.js, I have to maybe li write five or six lines always. And let me show you that particular uh, file very quickly so that you can understand what I'm trying to tell you. So if you look at uh, this particular uh, file, this particular file has uh, 10 lines that I always uh, want to include in my org file, which I want to export. Similarly, I have uh, same or similar, sim similar lines, similar uh, configurations, like global configurations for my LaTeX file. Now imagine inserting these 10 or 20 lines always in your org file. This is of course not really feasible because first of all, you have duplicacy of these things in all of your files. And at the same time, if you modify something in one file, you might want to modify it in other files. So what I normally do, I basically create uh, these uh, files. So I have a folder called setup in my Emacs directory where I keep my setup files. And uh, whenever I have to uh, import them, I simply write these two lines. For example, if I'm working on LaTeX based configurations, I just bring in this file and I have multiple files. Like, you know, uh, if I'm doing something for my company, like if I'm, let us say, generating a presentation where I want some uh, company, my, my company Sparks is related settings maybe a footer or header or some color schemes. I use uh, Sparks's, I mean, this is just a nomenclature. And uh, similarly for my reveal based configurations. And good thing is that you can have multiple files. So you may have uh, some configurations for LaTeX and similarly something else for reveal. Maybe you have some other global configurations that you always want to bring in. So you can try to use a setup file, which I find quite useful. And I also wanted to share it with all of you. And by the way, I, as I mentioned bef before, I have been working on a uh, lot of configurations, not really each and everything, but I'm working on these uh, settings for my own setup for uh, generating LaTeX and uh, reveal based uh, documents. And the idea is that I want to use one org file for uh, generating not only the org file, of course, which is the main thing, but uh, org file is like a source code. And whenever I have to generate a PDF, I can generate a PDF. Whenever I have to generate uh, a presentation, I can generate a presentation or maybe HTML. And uh, once I'm done with those things, I will delete those files because I don't really need them. I basically care about the org file. So I think that should be the approach. You should use your org file and treat your org file as a source code instead of uh, the binary. <laughs> I mean, PDF is not really PDF is not bad, but still PDF can always be always be generated. And HTML is of course uh, just 
another file which you can generate whenever you need to or have to and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you today and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much